What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the whole January transfer window for you guys to stay up to date with here on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, do leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Smashed it on the last video. Can we do it on this video as well? That would be brilliant and also don't forget as well to get your thoughts in at the comments below finally this video is sponsored and it is brought to you by football prizes and wow just wow they have got a football prize which is live now that you can go and check out it's a one-of-a-kind signed erlin harland shirt 499 tickets £3.95 per ticket for you to go and enter to be in for the chance of winning a signed erlin Haaland shirt as I said, wow, there's 27 instant prizes to be won as well, including signed shirts from Edison and Ruben Diaz, as well as two hospitality tickets for Manchester City v Brentford and so much more as well. Do go and check out Football Prizes. Links and details there in the description. I'd like to say a big thank you to Football Prizes for sponsoring today's video as well. Remember, these videos, they don't happen without a sponsor, so much appreciated to them. Do go and check them out. That would be absolutely fantastic and get yourself in with the chance of winning a signed Erling Haaland shirt. So, we're going to start this video off with the outs and we're going to be speaking more about Alfie Harrison. Now, we are speaking yesterday how he was set for a move to Newcastle and Mike Benet has said that Newcastle haven't yet got the deal for Alfie Harrison tied down just at this moment. Fee has been agreed between Manchester City and Newcastle. We don't know what the fee is. It's undisclosed. But he does say that Bayern Munich and Atletico Madrid, they're also taking a look at Alfie Harrison as well. He says that Alfie likes Newcastle. He likes the pathway to the first team squad there, which is where I think Alfie Harrison is going to end up. But it isn't 100% done yet. Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid, their name being mentioned as well. Where will Alfie Harrison end up? That is the big question. I'm sure we'll get more updates on this over the next 24 hours or so. Now, moving on to the final transfer of the outs takes us on to an update on Jan Kuto, who's on loan at Girona from Manchester City. And Sports Witness have said that Manchester City, they're trying to get Jan Kuto onto a new contract amid rumours that Real Madrid are interested in signing him uh, in the summer. Kyle Walker... He's getting no younger. Manchester City been getting linked with right-sided defenders. We've already got one at the club. He's having a great season in La Liga with Girona. To me, save the cash. Bring Jan Kuto back. Get the promise of first-team football in there. Get him signed on to a new deal. Forget about Real Madrid. Come and play for Manchester City. That's what I would be doing. Jan Kuto's contract is up with City in 2025. If he doesn't sign a new deal, he's got just one year left on his contract with Real Madrid coming calling for him. They want him. They're interested in signing him, which means Manchester City won't be able to ask for as much as what they're looking for. Man City want a true reflection on Jan Kuto's market value, which is why they want him on a new deal. To sweeten the deal, if Jan Kuto is keen on staying in Spain, put a release clause in there. Put a cheaper release clause to appeal to Jan Kuto. What Manchester City want here is to maximise profit on Jan Kuto. I would like Man City to keep the option open for him to come to the first team squad as well. Get him to sign a new deal. We'll see if there's a new release clause in there or not and get it done and dusted and sorted because I just don't see why Manchester City need to be spending 50, 60 million pounds to bring a new player in when you've already got somebody who is good enough. He's doing great at Girona. Uh, Real Madrid are interested. If you're good enough for the Real Madrid squad, in my opinion, you're good enough to be challenging in the Manchester City squad as well. How are City going to handle it? What are Manchester City going to do? They are the big questions at the moment for Man City. Pretty simple and straightforward. In the summer, he's got just one year left on his deal. Real Madrid will be able to sign him for cheap, so City need to try and get him onto a new deal. 
and work from there. Literally just editing up the video now. Just slipped by me this one, but very quickly, Fabrizio Romano's given a very quick update on Calvin Phillips. He is now in East London doing his medical with West Ham. That will be completed today, and it is expected that either today or tomorrow, Calvin Phillips will be announced as a new West Ham player on loan for the season, which I gave more details about in yesterday's transfer update. If you want any more details on that, then do just go and check that out. So I am expecting at some point in the next 24 hours, Calvin Phillips to become a West Ham United player. Anyway, moving on to the end, we've got a new name comes in the form of uh, Varela over at FC Porto. He only signed for them in the summer for a fee worth €8 million Euros from Boca Juniors, a 23-year-old defensive midfielder. He's attracting interest from both Manchester City and Liverpool. FC Porto apparently now asking for a whopping €70 million. Euros. And you'd be amazed about just how many top South American and Argentinian talents come over to Europe. They're more than good enough for European football. You can sign them for cheap from South America and within the, what, six to 12 months, you can go on to make serious, serious profit. And Varela looking very much like the next player that's going to fall into that category as well. One again for me to keep my eyes and ears open for. Now, moving on to the final transfer of this video. And this is really interesting. I might call this a little semi-saga. It comes in the form of an update on Joshua Kimmich. Now, I've been speaking a fair amount about him. Man City being interested. Man City, of course, going to be interested in all the top defensive midfielders out there. Versatile as well. It appeals to Manchester City. And then it goes quiet and Man City aren't interested. And then it comes up again. But we've had no reliabilities being the problem. And then just yesterday, we've had some reliability put onto the story. Christian Falk over in Germany has said and confirmed what my suspicions have been throughout this month of January. Manchester City in the summer are interested in signing Joshua Kimmich from Bayern Munich. As I said, it will be his versatility that's appealing to City. He can play in defensive midfield, he can play in central midfield, and he can play in defence and at right back as well. That will be the appeal for Manchester City. We don't like bringing in players that are just stuck to one position. We like players to come in that can play in two, three, four different positions. And then it's worth their weight in gold having players that can occupy multiple positions. And that will be the appeal of Joshua Kimmich. Pep Guardiola, he's worked with Kimmich before from his time at Bayern Munich. He knows what to expect from Kimmich and vice versa. Kimmich knows what to expect from Pep as well. So I would expect if we did sign Kimmich for him to really hit the ground running. He's not signed a new deal at Bayern Munich. He's not interested in leaving Bayern Munich until the summer after the European Championships. But once that comes and goes, he could well be on his way out of Bayern Munich. He'll have one year left on his contract as well. There'll be plenty of interest. Manchester City's name firmly being put out there. And I, I firmly believe that if Manchester City were well and truly interested in signing Kimmich, if we pushed and did enough, we could make this transfer happen. And it's... It, I'm ecstatic to hear that Christian Falk has said that Manchester City are interested in signing Joshua Kimmich. It's the first time we've had reliability put onto this story. I'll keep my eyes and ears open for any further developments on there, but that to me is big. That's the first hurdle, interest. Next hurdle, will Manchester City start crunching numbers, speaking with Kimmich's representatives, speaking with the player and speaking with Bayern Munich as well? That's the next hurdle. If that hurdle does happen, then that well and truly suggests to me Manchester City are going to make that move. City will be identifying their summer transfer list right now, ready for the summer. Transfers don't happen over days and weeks. They happen over months. And it's best to be prepared. If you've got players that you've earmarked that you want, it's best to start getting the ball rolling as quickly as possible and as early as possible. And all early indications are suggesting to me anyway, through various different sources, including the reliability of Christian Falk put on this, Man City are getting the ball rolling when it comes to Joshua Kimmich. Just as I was about to start editing the new Lionel Messi hate that phrase, by the way. <laughs> Puts so much pressure on the player. But he's been dubbed the new Messi. He has signed for Manchester City, Claudio Echeverri. Of course, 25th of January today. It's the opening of the uh, transfer window in Argentina. And Echeverri, at some point this week, was expected to sign for Manchester City. City haven't held back. They've announced it. Right now, he signs £12.5 million pounds 
plus add-ons, which is his release clause from River Plate. He's a central midfielder. He is going to spend the remainder of 2024 on loan at River Plate and he signed a deal until June 2028 with Manchester City. So uh, it is once uh, he's finished his loan at River Plate at the end of the season, he will have another three years left on his contract or three and a half years left on his contract at Manchester City. And the reason that the contract isn't as long as some of the uh, other contracts that you see with the regular first team players that get brought in is I imagine that Manchester City want to give themselves a little bit of time to suss out Echeverry to see what the future does hold for him because they haven't decided yet if they want to use him around the first team squad or use him for the CFG or what's not so Man City very much keeping their options open and I imagine they've probably just sat down with Echeverry and said that uh, he's got the whole of 2024 to showcase what he can do in South America another year of experience on under his belt and then they'll assess from there so very exciting welcome Claudio Echeverry another player added to the Manchester City squad excited to see what he can do and uh, in 2024 don't expect to see him at Manchester City but 2025 could well be the year of Claudio Echeverry making his breakthrough at Manchester City Football Club very exciting so wishing him the very best of luck for his remainder of his time at River Plate and wishing him the very best of luck at Manchester City as well exciting times of course if I do get any developments on this I will keep you guys up to date with my daily Manchester City transfer update so if you haven't already do subscribe it is free I'll keep you up to date here every single day throughout the January transfer window and throughout the summer transfer window as well when the daily series returns from June for you guys to look forward to so if you haven't already do subscribe to my channel social media links they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter Instagram and TikTok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsors for any videos or any general business inquiries do leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim do get your thoughts in the comments below and do go and check out today's video sponsor which is brought to you by football prizes links and details there in the description remember it's a special one of a kind Erlin Harlan signed Manchester City shirt that you can go and check out 499 tickets available £3.95 per ticket there's 27 instant prizes including a signed Ruben Diaz shirt a signed Edison shirt plus two tickets in hospitality for the Manchester City v Brentford game as well as many more prizes to go and check out links and details there in the description and thank you so much to Football Prizes for sponsoring this video and I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City video so I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching I hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now